Hey Chris, good to see you again. Hi. Hi Jerry. Hi. So you got a cool circuit for us today? Yeah, so uh, I was looking on, on the internet um, at the webpage of the, the authors of this uh, very good textbook I found called um, Horowitz and Hill, The Art of Electronics. And on their webpage they had a, a circuit which I found quite interesting. It's called Build a Lorentz Attractor. This circuit that generates uh, a pattern that's sort of a I've seen it in a book on chaos theory. Um, it's a sort of a circuit which doesn't really oscillate. It, it, it keeps producing changing signals, but they're not necessarily a repeating pattern. That's my understanding of it anyway. A bit like sort of weather systems where a small change can, can affect the state later on, but it's very difficult to predict. So I thought it would be fun to build this circuit. So it's got two analog multipliers and three Three op amps? Yeah. So I I built it on one of these um, solderless breadboards. So I I used slightly different chips. I used uh, analog devices. I think it's um, AD A six three three multipliers with quite large capacitors. Um, it produces this fairly slowly moving um, spot. Hmm. On, it's, it's, it's on an XY display, that's why it doesn't look like a standard oscilloscope trace, because one of the voltages in the circuit controls the X and the other one controls the Y. Um, yeah, and I guess a, a little side point is that um, if you turn off the circuit, the spot won't move and it will burn the screen of the scope, and someone had already done that to this scope before I bought it, so I got it fairly cheaply. So. Yeah, I don't know if it's a Skype refresh or is it pretty consistently bouncing side to side or does it kind of get stuck to one side or the other for a half a second? Uh, the, the second one, it, sometimes it will stay on one side for a while and then it will flip to the other side. I can, I can put smaller capacitors in but then it will not appear to be, you, you won't sort of see that it's moving around, you'll just see a, a more well, it's not, not a stable pattern, it still changes, but mm -hmm. maybe not as interesting, I don't know. So I can like do a, that. It's a really fun light show effect. Yeah, I mean, you could control Galvos with that, I guess, or um, I, was, I was wondering if you could use it for, like, the pitch and amplitude of, of uh, a synthesizer for electronic music, but I, I imagine it might not sound very nice, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it set up at the moment so that zero volts on both axes is right in the middle of the screen and it, it is offset to one side. I can move it back down to the near the middle by applying like changing the, the offset on one of the channels and I can probably make it bigger. I don't know. I know it's still it's a bit too big. Sweet, how fun. <laughs>